Welcome to So Like a Pro Time. I'm Teresa Sigmund and you are in the right place to learn to choose, alter and make the dance sport, country and skate dress of your dreams. Today we are filming on location at You Can Dance Studio in St. Louis, Missouri. So thanks so much to Stan and Mary for letting me take over their studio. And thanks to the adorable Betty for modeling her dress. This is what's so fun for me. Literally, Betty and I met like a half an hour ago. This is basically fresh, um, fresh data for me. And so I love being able to look at a dress and take, take it and say, this is what works, this is um, what doesn't work. It's gorgeous dress by Lynn Wallander. Great job, it has held up so beautifully for 18 or 19 years. What do you like the least about this dress? I don't like how the bus feels. Okay. That's, that's what I like the least about it. One of the things that I notice when she's in this dress is that it's too short vertically. And this is not, not a dressmaker issue, it's just an issue with buying a ready-made dress versus either making it yourself or having a dress custom made because it's almost impossible to get everything perfect. Okay, so if I recap that, lengthen the stride, let the whole dress go up, and then either replace the panty so her tush is covered, or if you're buying a dress and your bum is already completely covered, just add an inch or two, or maybe two and a half to five centimeters, whatever you need in length, so that it lets the dress ride up. So if you're gonna keep the dress, I'd probably change the panty since you know how to sew. Then um, my other suggestion would be to not mess with the bra cups until you shift the bottom because once oh. you let all of that come up, the bra cups inside may actually be hitting so that they feel a whole lot better instead of fitting halfway on your breasts. And that. the other good thing that that will do whenever you shift the entire panty up is that it will also shift up your skirt attachment line. And I have another blog about um, how to make a, a full tummy look flat. Oh, so, <laughs> so if you turn <laughs> sideways, yep, we're good. Now right now, this skirt attaches a little bit low on your tummy so that it doesn't quite hit on the apex of the curve. We want a skirt ideally to hit on the apex of the curve. By the time you lengthen the stride so the dress goes up, your skirt's actually gonna hit about right there, which would be good because then the fullest part of the skirt will then pull, um, it'll hang right off the tummy instead of scooping underneath uh -huh. your tummy. So that will actually take care of several things at once. However, now that I'm down here, I can't pull on her panties on the camera, blast it. <laughs> so the other option is, and you can do your research on this, it is, no, it's all down here. Yeah, down here. So when I pull up here, my test is, this is not budging. It's actually really pretty tight from the tip of the bust to the shoulder. When I pull down here, this fabric moves a whole lot. So I would have to go on the inside and look at that engineering again because I know you've okay, got it's panties It's not attached in it. though, right there. It's not attached right there. It's only attached in it's the back? It's only attached up here, across the top, up here. Oh, okay, well then that's easy. Yeah. That's super easy to right. change it's the not panties attached then. attached in the back either. See? Oh, see, I didn't inspect her bum well, clearly. Well, <laughs> yes, that's why, that's why when you said that, I kept thinking, oh, that'll be easy because it's not attached. Oh yeah, okay, see gets better by the minute. All right, so now let's have you turn to the back, please, okay. ma'am. I wanna talk about this back. Betty has really beautiful skin. This is my least favorite part of the dress for several reasons. One, because I'm not a fan of straps across the back because it cuts, um, it, it cuts the shades. She's short and it's just a horizontal line across the back. Mm -hmm. Two, because there aren't really any other horizontal lines on the dress because the piping doesn't count because it's an accent color, but everything else is sort of curvy and organic. And so I would be inclined to, if you really must have the support, which you might not need once everything's, okay. once the girls are high and dry, then maybe come in and consider doing a crisscross strap that's oh. pretty narrow. And okay. that again is more interesting, more dynamic than okay. just a horizontal strap. If you are considering altering this dress, I would love to see this curve 
cover a little bit of the fleshiness back here. I mean, because Betty's a full figure gal and you have a, an adorable figure and I wish my bum was still round like this, but I would like to see a little bit of just these curves here. Cause so it's a little, okay, let me rephrase that. The width, uh, turn back there, the width right here makes her tush look wider. And so if the back of this neckline cut in a little bit, it would actually make her waist look smaller and make her look curvier because you have most of your curve, belly and bum. And so you're pretty straight from waist to hip, which I mean, we all carry our fat in different places. So if this was a little more narrow back here, it would actually draw the eye in, your waist would look tinier, and then give you more of an hourglass figure from the side in addition, from the front and the back in addition to the curves on the side. That is not an easy alteration. Yeah, I don't know that on a dress this age, even though yeah. it's in fabulous shape, I don't know that I would go to the trouble of changing it. But for those of you who are making a dress from scratch, or for you when you're making your next <laughs> dress from scratch, or even considering buying one off the rack, I would try to get something a little more narrow. Okay. Nice. I did a blog with Marlene, a lady in Portland, and her, um, I actually give you some strap options, which you might like, and we, you could even maybe do them in pink. Fool around with that idea during your alterations and maybe do them in black or pink, or even one side in pink and one side in black because you have this pop of colors. So these are all just suggestions on how to make things look better on Betty's body. And I think as women, we always perform better if we feel more confident and feel our best in it. I'm curious to see, once you do the work, send me photos because I'll add them to the blog. If you have found value in today's video, please share it with all your dancing, skating, sewing friends. Go to sewlikeapro.com, leave me your name and email address. I'll make sure you get my newsletter and any sewing school information. Also, if you have any comments about Betty's dress, leave it below. Tell me what's your favorite part. What would you change to make this dress look good on you? Thanks so much to Betty, Thank you. as well as Mary and Stan, the owners of You Can Dance in St. Louis, Missouri. And I will talk to you again another time.